Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're going to look in a little bit more detail at the project command and specifically show some examples with this connector and projecting it. I've selected the connector in my project file, which comes from the 747 tutorial, which you can download. And what I want to do first is go up to the grid menu and just look at this connector in the distribute command and specifically at the functions. And you can see that it has the default distribution function, which is hyperbolic tangent. After looking at that, let's go ahead and proceed to the edit menu, pull down to project. The project command is context sensitive, meaning that you do have to have a proper entity or entities selected before a projection will be available. And what we want to look at specifically uh, in a little more detail are these projection controls in this frame in the center of this table. At the top, we can see that none of our points are currently on the database, and that is because this particular connector lies about halfway in between the nacelle, in this particular case, and the hub at the center. Using the default controls, which are the closest point projection type and project points, interior only, we can go ahead and click on the project option. And you can see that I get some points, a few that are projected to the interior hub, and most of the remainder are projected out to the exterior nacelle surfaces. And that's because closest point is looking to find the closest database to the points that are currently being projected. However, if we change this to the linear projection method, you can see now that it's using a projection vector in some particular direction. We can override that default projection direction using an axis down here in the projection direction frame. Uh, usually for linear projection, you probably want to change or reorient your model. And so for instance, let's look along the Y plus direction, use current. And then as I rotate back around again, you can see now that we are projecting along the Y axis. And so if I click on project again, all of the points now are projected onto that interior hub. Let's click on OK here to save this, and let's look at our results. So first of all, we notice the endpoints of this connector have not been projected. That's one of the other controls in the frame that we need to talk about, the interior points. And then let's go in and look at the grid distribution command again and the functions, and we can see that now our connector has a type general distribution and that simply just means that it's been turned into a discrete, discreetly shaped and distributed connector uh, based on the projection. And if we go to the edit command and look at how this particular connector is defined, I can see highlighted here is a linear curve based on the segment type up at the top of the panel. And as I toggle through, I can see that I have a database constrained segment. And then additionally, I have another a free linear type segment. That particular segment spans between the two database surfaces. And then pushing over again one more time, I can see the final segment here before we get to the other end uh, has a control point for every grid point that was projected. Let's cancel out of that. Let's undo. And let's go back to the edit project command. So the first thing to think about here is this interior only. That interior only option was on, meaning it was only going to project the interior points of the connector and not the ends. This is a really uh, useful control when you've already created database constrained connectors or curves, and you don't really want their endpoints to be projected, or at the domain level, you don't necessarily want to project your entire connector onto a database surface if you've already created it as such. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some of the other options. In particular, let's go ahead and change this to a cylindrical type. And you can see now my in and out options are available. They were also available for linear. If I go ahead and project in this particular fashion with in, it's going to project into the axis that's defined for my cylindrical projection. Let's use the x-axis. And now let's go ahead and project. And we can see that it's projected all of those points onto the internal hub again. If I switch to out, project again, again we see that we've projected all of the points onto the outer shroud of the nacelle. However, I've still got interior only on and I can see that I still have two points that are not database constrained. If we want all of those points to go onto the nacelle, then we need to uncheck that box. Let's project again. 
Now I have 100% on the nacelle. If I click OK, and let's go look at this again, um, edit, uh, curve, I can see that I have all the control points, including the ends, on that particular database surface. And if I cancel out of this and proceed over to grid and distribute and over to functions, I can see that, again, I do have a type general distribution. One more change we want to make here for this particular demonstration. Let's undo that. Let's go ahead back up into edit project. And I'm going to change now to using project shape. You'll notice now that down here at below, I have a new frame added to fit control. Project shape is going to go ahead and project all of the control points that define the shape of the connector and then try to fit that to make sure that it fits in the best possible way, the database geometry that it's projected onto. Generally, you don't need to adjust this fit tolerance, but it is available if you need to. Also notice that interior only is grayed out. Let's go ahead and click on project. All of the points have been projected again onto the shroud. Click OK. Let's go one more time up to Grid, Distribute, Functions. And this time you can see Hyperbolic Tangent is still selected. So the Project Shape option in the Project command allows us to preserve that distribution function type through the projection process. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line down below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all, and have a pleasant Tuesday.